let's talk about the school at least for a moment. You know, the school actually has actually made a reform. Uh, do you think the school acted rightly? Because you know, Yahya Bele said this money didn't come from the government's coffers. It's my money. And then uh, this, they said that the school actually, or do you think it also stands in contempt of the court? Because this is a transaction between the school and Yaya Bello. The money has nothing to do with the state government. And there was a, a substantive order asking the school not to pay to a third party, which they've actually paid to the EFCC. And that might lead to issues between Yaya Bello and Yaya Bello's family and the school. And that's one. The second one is, um, do you feel like the school is trying to, you know, Launder its image, saying that no, I'm not, you know, partisan. I'm not complicit, you know, in what is going on. And why should the school in Nigeria be, you know, charging in dollars? I think we've been talking about, you know, dollarization. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll take the questions one by one. Yeah. Yeah. As for um, getting an order stopping the school from giving the money to a third party, that will lead to a civil suit between um, Yaya Belu's family or whoever he claims paid the school on behalf of the children mm. and the school. So I think that settles it, even if they don't settle within themselves. So that's one. Then, but the school has acted very in a mature way, as far as I'm concerned. And they have, beyond laundering their image, I'm, I'm impressed, very impressed. Because what they said is that this one, the subject of investigation. Right. Let's just put it aside. Leave it to those people. If eventually it's found that there's nothing wrong with the funds. The EFCC will refund. I, I can tell you for free here that I've had instances where the EFCC actually refunded money to clients, my clients. I've had it about three times. Mm. I had a client who money was seized abroad. They sent it to the EFCC, and we went and collected. So there's no, the money is safe. Mm. Once the investigation is over, you, you can rest assured the money is safe. So we've answered the first question about the school. Now, charging in dollars. Um, I think last week we were here and we talked about, you know, the Chinese... Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, supermarket. Supermarket that they were charging in yen and all that. By the provisions of our law, governing commercial transactions, um, you're to deal in Naira. Now, but... That's, that's the law. But if you now decide to deal otherwise, you're somewhat in contravention. I'm not going to mince words mm. on that. But it's a private arrangement between the school and those who have decided to pay. But normally, if you pay, what, what is supposed to be is that you're to pay in Naira. Mm -hmm. Dollar is not our currency. So... That will be between the government and the school. And the school. Yeah. So and the person paying. paying. And the person paying, the person paying. you know, honoring, you know, that, that request to pay. Because the, the person should understand yeah. what because the law like says. You're, you're also, you know, perpetrating a crime. Yes. Right. You yes. finally agree. <laughs> 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 I, I just, no, no, because I have a duty to, right. to speak the truth. And, Absolutely. And, and that's it. Because seriously, it's, it's not, that's not the way it is. Mm. It's, it's, it's a contravention. Okay.